Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss an important current affair that is Green Hydrogen Project. Recently NTPC has awarded the first Green Hydrogen Project at Simhadri that is in Andhra Pradesh. This is designed by NTPC. NTPC is a Maharatna company. It uh, it mains function is to co concentrate on the renewable energy and energy things related, and it is a central public sector undertaking. It's a PSU under the Ministry of Power. It aims to produce reliable power and related solutions to in economical and efficient manner. It's trying to push towards the green energy and green hydrogen projects. It's it is located in New Delhi and it is a one of the Maharatna company. Now let us know about Green Hydrogen Project. The Green Hydrogen Project is going to be in Andhra Pradesh. Now what is the significance of it? The main significance is we will have a clean energy fuel. That is we will have less environmental pollution. The carbon dioxide which is released from the fuels sorry from the cars and other vehicles will not be there and it will and it will be very clean environment as we have a as we will have a green hydrogen so that is the main thing and in another way is Another thing is, it will India is India imports eighty percent of its oil and fifty percent from foreign, from outside India. So it is very costly and it is uh, difficult and it is we are having a lot of deficit because of it. So to promote clean fuels, India is trying to make mandatory for fertilizer plants and oil refineries to purchase green hydrogens and. And decarbonizing, decarbonizing is nothing but removing or reducing the amount of carbon compounds released in the environment. So it is trying. Uh, we do. We have some places in India where it is difficult. Where it is difficult to uh, uh, to run the oil, and it cannot be. It cannot in winter season especially the oil gets into its becomes like a cold solid thing. So in there also this green hydrogen can be used. They are trying to make it, and NTPC is trying to link and pack with the uh, Ladakh so that they will have a green hydrogen project. So this is one of the significance of this green hydrogen. But in spite of having so many good points, it is very challenging to produce green hydrogen. Let us see here. The, see the renewable energy here. Electricity is generated through renewable energy, either through solar winds or other things. We produce, we generate electricity and that electricity is used in electrolyzer to produce hydrogen and that hydrogen will be used in places in companies and in vehicles so that it does not emit carbon dioxide if this renewable energy is not used and fossil fuel is used then it becomes a brown hydrogen Instead of using this renewable source, if we are using fossil fuel to produce hydrogen, then it is called as brown hydrogen. And if it is if it is produced from if it is produced from natural gas where the emissions are captured using carbon capture and storage, then it is called as blue hydrogen. And if if we are using nuclear power to produce hydrogen, then it is called as pink hydrogen. So these are the various types of hydrogen. 
and what are the re related initiatives which are connected to the hydrogen one is national hydrogen mission where the india is trying to make hydrogen as a energy source so that we can replace other sources and it will be easy and we can reduce the deficit and we can improve the economy in this way and environment also and next one is indc target that is intended nationally determined contributions targets to to install 100 gigawatts grid connected solar power plants so that it will be useful in producing green hydrogen and other one is they are try the global target of producing hydrogen is 1.45 million tons of green hydrogen by 2023 so these are the related initiatives that's all for today friends if you like my channel please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you